Hello everyone, hello, it's Michelle Lloyd here, founder of United Arts Base. You might have just been watching me a few minutes ago. <laughs> Welcome back if you were. I am now joined with Sally, and my lovely Sally, who's a member inside the hub and took Make Your Mark as well. Um, and so very kindly, Sally has volunteered to come and just talk about her experience inside the hub, because obviously you've been hearing my side of it. And so thank you, Sally, for joining. Welcome. Hi. <laughs> so first of all, just tell everyone what kind of art you make. Well, I'm mainly a ceramic artist, so I sort of got into it a few years ago. I have got a few, I've just sort of, these sort of, um, oh yeah, they're me, this they're kind me. of thing, so it's a mixture of throneware and yeah. sculpture, yeah. that sort of thing. Yeah, awesome. And so... It's surface pattern, you know. That oh, sort of I love thing. that. Oh, let's see that one again. <laughs> That's a, oh, that's it's, a, it's, a, it's a play on words, so it's like a nest bowl. Oh, lovely. So it's a nest at the bottom. Oh, that's so, like, so lovely. So three that all nest inside each other, but they've got a nest in. It's sort of like a... Oh, I love deep. that. <laughs> I love that. Amazing. And so, right, cast your mind back to before you joined the hub and found United Art Space. Um, so what were you working on then and how were you feeling? Well, I was in a huge muddle. I was doing a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I was doing a bit of pottery. I wanted to get back into painting, a bit of textiles, and I had, my mind was just a mess. I know it people was so full. <laughs> people <laughs> watching now, I'm just it. laughing because I've had so many people because we're doing the workshops. I've had so many people this week say they feel like you do. <laughs> yeah, well, just like it. Or did? Just, sorry, did. Yeah. Wait, 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 go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, we're all over the place because as creatives, it's natural, isn't it? Because we're kind of like inspired by the world and we want to do different things. And yeah, every time you go out, you see something and think, yeah. oh, I, you know, how can I use that? How can you I have to, have to sort of try and rein it in a bit? So you were doing ceramics and textiles and all sorts of different mediums and was a different yeah. subject matter as well. And It's mostly, I, I thought it was... A, different subjects but actually it's it's actually got a na natural world theme even yes. if they look quite different at the time I was doing like bird sculptures yeah I was doing frameware with a sort of a pattern on it but yeah. it was all, all still had a natural theme yeah and so that's something that you started to discover now and so now so you decided to join the hub what made you join the hub do you remember what, what it was that made you join um I think I've never you know, you do all these sort of free workshops and they all sort of lead to something and I've never signed up to anything before ever. Yeah. But I think it was just the way, you know, the engaging way and sort of actually you, you picked up on my, some of my work and showed it and I was thinking, oh, yeah. somebody's shown an interest in me and I, that really yeah. made it quite personal actually. Yeah. I, I, I like that. <laughs> that's good, that's good. And so then you joined, which I was um, really, really pleased about, so thank you. And um, and then what happened once you joined the hub? How has it helped you, would you say? Um, I I've got some notes. <laughs> 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 I love it. Led had his notes yesterday as well. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I wanted to come on because I'm one of these. I'm a slow burn. I'm not. I don't do things quickly. I'm not racing ahead. I've spent this whole year and I, I'm, I've progressed, but not as much as other people. But I'm quite happy with where I am. And I think the hub has helped me realise that I'm. I work at my own pace. Yeah. Um, the people. Everybody on there is so helpful you know you can put a post on and somebody will give you an answer that you hadn't thought of and it's yeah. just and I think having somebody to talk to that understands where you're coming from not saying oh it's fine or I just want you to be happy or something like that they yeah. understand your concerns yeah. Yeah. Situations. <laughs> I'm glad you mentioned that, you know, doing it at your own pace because um, inside the hub we've got the hub turtles, <laughs> haven't we? So we've yeah. got hub turtles and some people, there's some people that race ahead and then they're the hub hares and then we've got hub <laughs> turtles and the hub turtles are the people that they literally just take, like you said, just what you've just described, um, there is no pressure at all. You can do it in your own pace and everyone's on their own journey, aren't they? I missed that. You totally seized up on me. Oh, <laughs> did I? Okay. I was just saying how we are. We've got like the hub turtles, and that's kind of the nice thing inside the hub is there's no pressure, um, and you can do it at your own pace, and everyone's on yeah, their own I journey. Otherwise, you feel like you're behind all the time, and then you sort of don't do anything. Then yeah, I'm definitely. 
<laughs> yeah, and a lot of people have said that they're scared of joining because of that, that they just feel like they're going to fall behind or they're not going to be good enough. Um, but you're not well, made to feel yeah. like that. No, I, I, I mean, you see other people's work, it's all amazing, and it's just like, oh, God. But, you know, it's, I still feel I'm, I'm part of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's the biggest thing you've got out of the hub, do you think? Oh, I think it's all the, the sort of friendships and the companionships. Yeah. You know, it's just the people, the community is just amazing. Yeah. It's one of the nicest groups I've ever been involved with I think <laughs> oh it is isn't it and I'm I know I'm biased Sharon I met Sharon in Oxford that was a, <laughs> one of my highlights of course you did yeah so um obviously some people obviously know Sharon now but if you don't know Sharon Sharon's my friend and she helped me set up United Art Space and she's a ceramicist too um and Sharon was uh was she doing a demo there it was a, 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 a demonstration but she was uh at, at ceramics at yeah, so type of thing. So she was exhibiting. So she was exhibiting, and but, Sally went okay. over and met. Oh, and... You have to go back for another chat, but she was always busy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you got to meet, and obviously you took make your mark as well. So make your mark is our other course that Sharon does once a year, and so obviously you met Sharon through there as well. So that would have been really nice that you actually got to meet her in person. Oh. That's so Lovely. good. Yeah. <laughs> well, hopefully, well, yeah, we'll be having a meet up in the UK actually before the end of the year, so we'll all maybe get together again. Um, so, if if anyone's watching and they're worried about joining the hub, um, what would you say? What's your advice to anyone who's thinking of joining? Well, I think it's such a good investment. It's an investment in you. If you're really serious about making your art your business, then it's a good investment in your self and in your business because it just really made me realise that all the why, the mindset, it's not just your business, it's you as a person as, as well. Yeah. It's all connected. So yeah. if you're not if your mindset's not right as a person, yeah. Or in your business, one or the other is going to be offset. And I think it's yeah. just it just makes the whole it's a whole package really. It's not yeah. just business and art. It's it's yeah. you as well. Yeah, I think yeah. it's really, worth your investment I think that's a really good point that's something I've never been able to put across before because when I've been trying to explain what the hub is and people go oh it's to make a living and to to be a business and I'm like but it isn't it's so much more than that and it's like what you've just described there it's it's like um it's delving into the person that you are isn't it and yeah because and if you're, you're that person that's going to be your art isn't it? and it's all it's all connected yeah. And if there's something negative going on in one or the other, yeah. I think it impacts on the, the opposite side. Yeah, and so being you... positive, if you're positive in one, it sort of it has the other effect. So I think it's really important and that's really, really worthwhile. And do you think it's helped with your mindset and your confidence over the oh, time? Oh, absolutely, the yeah. And I've uh, started getting fitter and it, it's all because, because my mind is in, in a much better place. I'm still really looking at mindset and why. Yeah. Taking the whole year and I chip, it, chip at it every now and again and yeah. I sort of go on to other bits now and again. But I'm still sort of at the, I'm still going back to it. <laughs> this is so exciting to hear because I never get to hear this stuff, like the juicy bits of how it actually helps. Because Stacey said to me as well that it's affected her whole life. So the seven keys has impacted her whole life. That the way now she has relationships with people, it helped her lose weight as well. I was like, wow, I didn't realise yeah, that it could impact really, people. I identify that's, yeah. I resonate with that completely. Isn't that <laughs> incredible? Um, wow. And so, and has it, because you said as well, when you joined, your work was all over the place. So do you think the hub has helped with your artwork as well and the direction of your work? Uh, it is. I mean, I've still got too big a range. Yeah. But I'm, I am sort of honing it down much better. Yeah. And I'm starting to concentrate. I've had a quite a big, busy summer with open studios. I, I am selling. Yeah. I had over 200 people come to my open studios this year, which was amazing. <laughs> oh, my God, that's incredible. Do I know about this? <laughs> so, uh, you know, and I had much, I came across, I think I came across as so much more confident than I had in previous years. Yeah. Oh, my gosh, that's awesome. With. And do you think that's because of the mindset? thing or do you think it's because you're more connected with the work because I think when you start to delve into the why and I've noticed that your voice has started to develop like I see your pieces and I can recognize them as yours and and that is something I think you've developed so do you think that confidence has come from connecting with your work on a deeper level or from the mindset or a bit of everything I think it's a bit of everything yeah. I think it 
you can't have really have one without the yeah, other. Yeah. If you don't get your mindset right, you're not yeah. sort of connecting with your work. So I yeah. think it. It's all yeah. part and parcel of the same thing, really. Yeah, so the message here is the seven key ingredients rock, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, you just you haven't finished it, you, you go back to it and it's... Yeah. Uh, and it's an ongoing thing. It is, isn't it? It's hard to explain to people, but it is definitely a cycle. And Mary said this to me, she just keeps going round and round it all the time. And But it is an anchor, so um, a lot of people that have joined have said they feel overwhelmed, but you won't when we get stuck in because it is... It is um, a framework where you figure out where you are at at that point, don't you? And 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 hone in on that and then move to the next step and then jump back to mindset again <laughs> when the fear kicks in. Yeah, and um, I think because you know you can do that, same with your work, right? I'm okay, I'm focusing on lizard pots and things like this at the moment, but yeah. that doesn't, you know, it means I can then go back to the mindset when I start getting a new... Yeah. Um, body of work together you know a new collection you sort of go back go back again to sort of yeah and visit it yeah <laughs> and that's why I'm really glad that we've set the hub up as the hub with that ongoing support because originally when I came up with the seven key ingredients I was thinking of selling it as a course um that would have been like 10 weeks long and then I just I, I'm glad that I quickly realized that actually artists need ongoing support because it's like when you get a question come up um, from someone and you don't know the answer, it's somewhere where you can come and ask that question. And then like you've just said, there's always, as you're going through, moments where you'll feel the fear again and you're out of your comfort zone. And so it's just an ongoing thing, isn't it? So I'm, I'm so glad that we set it up as a hub where you've got ongoing support. Oh, absolutely. I don't think I'd have got so much out of the course. I think it's... Uh, yeah, and it's a grower. It's so yeah. Crazy. And I think, and launching it and noticing that, that there have been people where, you know, you've really taken your time to go through it because you're doing it properly. That's a good sign. So I just think, you know, you're better doing it properly and getting quality outcomes now and uh, rather than rushing it and and uh, winging it. So I'm really proud of you. Thank you, Sally, for coming on today. <laughs> Yeah, that's amazing. And the other thing, like, you know, it's all the add-ons. It's like yeah. that I've been learning how to resize my images for websites and it's like the email campaigns. I'm yeah. just starting to get into that. So although I'm still working on my mindset, all that sort of thing is there as well. So you can just yeah. tap into those those lessons too. It's just it's fantastic. It's just oh, really, that's, it's really amazing. That's <laughs> good to know. So, yeah, if anyone's watching, I'll just explain how the hub is, is split. So inside the hub, you've got the seven key ingredients course. So the workshops that I've been introducing you to is literally just the surface. So there's a big course. It's not too big, but it just goes deeper on the seven keys that I teach about. And that is something that Sally was just saying, how you just keep going over that over and over again. Um, and you go deeper each time, focus on a certain element. Um, and then that's the core content. And the framework that you follow and then you've got additional things that Sally was just talking about so there's lessons on um, like how to reduce you keep your images safe online because um, I get lots of questions about adding watermarks but the, the easiest way to keep your images um, safe online is to reduce the size down and so there's all sorts of lessons inside that you can do at your own at your own time thank you for pointing that out because I'd kind of forgot how that's kind of split so and it's not overwhelming is it because you can dip in when you need yeah, it and they're not too long you know they're not yeah you, know, you haven't got to put aside two hours to listen to it it's like 15 yeah. minutes and it's yeah you know, you've got it. it's brilliant yeah oh yeah. wonderful oh I love these chats it's so nice to actually see you all as well I'm thinking actually when we get inside the hub we need to do more of this like all getting together where we can see each other uh, when we did make you mark, yeah wasn't that amazing we're all together yeah that was really good I love doing that I think we're going to start doing those more inside the hub yeah yeah definitely um, right thank you oh people are just saying hello so before we hang up Lottie says hello Alicia says hello Stacey says hello and Pete said hello oh hi <laughs> thanks for it's tuning really in scary. i've never done anything like this before either i'm I so done this year either <laughs> this is on. another thing to share because les said the same thing and the very nature that all of the members that, have, that said i put a note in the membership i said does anybody want to come and speak and everyone said yep yeah, yeah i will and everyone said they'd do it live and i was like look at the transformation in you all because you would not have done, none of the members that are coming on would have done this a year ago no, um, not. <laughs> no so how amazing is that to feel that you've done this and you did it and it's brilliant so thank you very much 
Um, I'm speaking to Kristen now, so I'm literally hanging up here and then Kristen's <laughs> coming <laughs> off. <laughs> yeah, so wonderful. Thank you so much for joining. And if anyone's got any questions, just fire away. I'm sure Sally won't mind answering any questions if you've got any, if you want to hear it from a member point of view. Um, and thank you so much for taking the time to be here and speak today. Thanks, Sally. No, no problem. Lovely. Nice to you. I'll see you in the hub. Bye. <laughs> see you, everyone.